Hey everyone, today we're night shrimping. Shrimping at night involves different tactics than during the day. Because at night, the shrimp are coming into shallow water to feed. So what we did was we went to a friend's dock and basically we started making these little chum balls. Little balls of fish meal and flour and all this other stuff. And we would just throw them along different parts of the dock. And then when the shrimp came in at night, we would uh, cast our nets for them. Fish meal, um, flour, and then I had some kind of, my neighbor gave me some really old, uh, two big buckets full of old stuff that smells like fish meal, and I have no clue what it is. I've used it every time that we come out, and it seems to work really well. I generally try to make them like a patty. Yeah. Not that the current doesn't run strong enough in here, but if you were in the regular river, It'd roll them it off. would roll. Okay, just keep them rolling. Yeah, keep them from rolling to make it more a little bit more flat than round. should have some bait in it, if they're there. We also caught up some bait fish in our net, and we hooked them onto a line and threw it out there, in case a nice fish came up to the chum as well. Just a little something extra, you know. It's, it's always good to, if you can leave something out there fishing while you're doing some other fishing, you know, just better chances of catching something. Once nighttime came around, we started uh, casting our nets for the shrimp, and uh, we got a nice little bonus, and that was mullet. Now you can eat mullet, but what I like them for is I like to use them as bait. So what I did was I brined them and I took them home, and I made a uh, split tail mullet out of them, a bait. And the cool thing about this is it's great for catching big fish like mahi and wahoo and marlin and stuff like that. So in a few months, you're going to see these bait fish again. One thing that was cool too is I learned a new way to throw a net. One of the guys had this other way that I'd never seen before. So uh, you know, check it out and see what you think. First thing you want to do is make sure that your net is untangled. Then you're going to pull up on the net so you have a good short section that you can throw easily. From there, you're going to grab about a third of the net. And you're going to take this third and throw it over your left shoulder. Grab part of the weights hanging down and put this part in your mouth. Then grab another piece hanging down and hold that with your pinky. Now with that right hand, grab another third of the net. You're going to hold this in your right hand. Then you're going to take that remaining third and you're going to put that in your left hand. As you can see now, your net is separated into a third. A third of your shoulder, one in your left hand and one in your right hand. Then you'll just throw it out there. Here's another view of how he loads up his net. When shrimping at night, we're on a dock and we, we timed it about high tide because low tide, you know, the shrimp won't come as far up. And um, since we're in shallow water, I think it was only five feet deep, we didn't need to tape our nets. 
somehow. Keep that in mind if you're swimming at night off the docks in shallow water, you might not need a tape net. But in deeper water, it's definitely something you want to have. I don't know, but that storm came up. It came in and then left. And it is. Yeah, I don't know. I, I think maybe the weather might have had something to do with it. But then again, that's why it's called fishing. And shrimping. And shrimping. Yeah. And not catching. Yeah. You never know unless you go. Well, that's all you can do, right? You gotta try. You gotta while you, yeah. While you can, you know, because in a few months, it's gonna be too cold to even go shrimping. You know, well, the fish were a little bit slow today. Yeah, like the scraps. So, uh, reload, remount, and do it again. Well, one thing I can say is that we at least got a meal. Yeah, that's it. More than just fried rice and shrimp. That's it. <laughs> there was probably what about five pounds of head in there, or more? Yeah, there was probably six pounds. I would say six of the head. Piece of the head yeah. yeah, that I threw back, and uh, so that's about a third. Yeah, so that's so, pounds. Yeah, about 18 pounds, no, 20 yeah. pounds. Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, it's bad when you get to the point where something like a day like that ain't good. Yeah, yeah. 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 There's yeah. a lot of days we would love to have that many. Yeah, days. I know it. Like I know it. Some of those. But... Hey guys, thanks for watching our night shrimping video. If you like this video and want to subscribe, just click the button in the middle that says subscribe. Also, check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.